Hello. Oh, good morning, boys and girls. Rise and shine. How's ever? Oh, sorry. You guys see my little teddy bear. <laughs> How are you guys doing on this wonderful morning? It is Melanie, instructor Melanie from B BXCC, MMCC, Bronx Community Charter. And today, I want to show you guys a little something for the morning, right? So, you know, I've already done a whole bunch of videos on cooking and making good stuff, but now, why should we make something to eat when we should really just make something to drink today? So, I saw this little trend, cute, pretty little trend, right? And it is called whipped coffee. People are like, huh? What is whipped coffee? I have never heard of whipped coffee in my entire life. Well, I'm going to give you a little something. And I'm just going to let you know. Whipped coffee is a um, type of coffee that is made with just milk. And the, um, the coffee is kind of like in a whipped form. Okay. So there's that. And I'm going to teach you how to make that today. So the only issue is, is that um, you actually take two spoons of um, instant coffee in a bowl. So instant coffee. So instant coffee, I don't know if I could show you a picture. Maybe I can. Let's definitely see. Okay. So let's see if I could show you a picture of instant coffee. So this is the instant coffee I use. I would go get it, but it's like, eh. All right, so instant coffee, I use this one, Nescaf. Looks like this, okay? So you use that, um, or classic roast by Folgers. You can use any kind of instant coffee. Just has to be instant. You also take two tablespoons of that instant coffee, you put in a nice little bowl, something like this per se, um, then you also take two um, spoons of sugar, tablespoons, like a big tablespoon. So you do that. And then you also take two tablespoons of sugar. So two, two, and two. But I suggest putting the coffee first, the instant coffee, then the sugar, then the water. And the water has to be hot. So you have to put the water in the microwave or something, put it for like a minute, maybe less, and then you have it. And then once you do that, it's going to come out in this weird groundy black shape and it's going to look very weird. And you're going to be like, ew, that's kind of gross, you know, <laughs> and you're not going to like it like at all. Right. So typically whipped coffee is actually supposed to look like this. I actually made it the other day and it looks like this. Very nice. Right. That's really cool. I made that with this cup. Right, so I'm gonna teach you guys how to make it today, which is gonna be so exciting. So the only thing is that I'm not gonna show you guys how to whisk it because to whisk it, it takes about maybe like 20 minutes. And I'm not gonna have you guys <laughs> sitting here for 20 minutes watching me whisk um, whipped coffee. Doesn't make any sense. So we are, I already made it previously. So it kind of looks like this. When you whisk after a certain amount of time, it kind of looks like this. I'm using dark roast, so mine is looking a little darker. That one was actually a little lighter. I'm using a different brand. The brand that I showed in that last picture is the Nescaf coffee. This one, I think, is a Nestle coffee that I'm using, a dark roast Nestle coffee now. So that is Nescaf light roast coffee. Um, now, if you keep spinning it and whisking it, it's just going to come out into this creamy little like color and also you need to be very patient because sometimes that nice color won't even come out so you know you have to keep doing that so sometimes when you whisk the coffee the coffee is actually like black like it looks really weird you're like ew like this is not gonna work trust me it takes a long time for the coffee to be whisked and it actually look good right so it takes a lot of time um if you have a whisker, which is like, um, I don't know what to call it, but it's the, it's the, um, it's the thing that is handheld that you use it to whisk like pancake mix and stuff like that. Um, I don't exactly have that. So you could definitely just use a spoon. 
whisker for um, cooking. Yes, let me see if I can show you. Yep, there you go. It's called a whisker. I was right. It looks like that. So you just buy one of those, or you could definitely just use a spoon, honestly. <laughs> so you could use whichever one. So um, I heard that whisk coffee, I mean, whipped coffee was like a really, really popular trend. And to be honest, I kind of just wanted to hop on the trend. So as you can see, it's a nice, like, creamy color. It's a little darker, but, oh, I can show you here. It's a little darker than most, as you see. And you just keep whisking it. So, yeah, whisk coffee, I mean, whipped coffee is actually really, really good, like, really good. Um, you can actually make it at home for your friends, for your family, you know, and during quarantine, like, you know, if you're having a bad day, like sometimes for me, like I'm, I'm having a sad day or a bad day. Like sometimes I would make myself something that I really, really like. So like the other day I made myself banana cake, which um, that's like the first time ever of me baking. So next time we're going to bake with each other. Let's hope. Right. <laughs> um, when I get more bananas, of course, because I wasted all of them. And, you know, there's going to be other stuff that we can do during during quarantine, um, you know, and hopefully quarantine's over soon, but all we can do is hope and keep each other safe. But in the meantime, like there's also when you're having a bad day, because sometimes people are stuck at home, again, feeling super overwhelmed, feeling super pressured. And they're just, you know, um, kids with the schoolwork, with the, um, you know, with the, uh, how do I explain? with the homework and all that other stuff. Like um, I've had um, a couple of my family members who are still young students going to school that have had like mental breakdowns. Like they're just like, I, I can't do this. Like this is, I, I don't know how to do this. This is, this, is, this is new to me. I don't get no help and it's hard. Like it's really hard, you know, and it's especially very hard for parents. So, you know, doing yourself a nice little treat, baking a cake or, doing something that you love definitely helps with me. I like looking up recipes and I just like making stuff. Like I made tomato soup and I didn't even know what tomato soup was until I looked up a recipe and just did it. <laughs> so there's definitely going to be more stuff. And also I will be doing some of the stuff with you guys for the first time. So like I, it will be my first time doing it too. So like, of course, so it could feel as authentic and as, um, as real as possible that you're that you're here actually physically with me on this you know um it, it'll definitely help so and also if you have a pet get them too and help and have them join you i don't know so like me for example um i used to live alone um now i don't but you know when i used to live alone all i had was like pets like my cat and then i got another cat and those cats used to make me very happy like so Again, definitely just pet your animals, play a game, or just, you know, make silly inventions like what I'm doing. So you just keep, again, whisking this whipped coffee. Also, it's better to add ice. So like, as you can see, I have ice in here. Um, the last time I didn't add ice, it was, um, it looked kind of funky. So we're going to add ice this time, okay? So I'm just going to make this here. You see? It's getting a little thicker. It's supposed to be like this. And you're like, whoa, that's cool. Um, also, sometimes I like to taste it, but don't do that if you're making it for people. But like for me, I like it. It's darker, but I like it. So I'm a big fan of dark coffee. Very big fan, just so you know. So if you want to get light roasted, it'll turn into a lighter color like this. But if you like it dark, it could definitely be like this. You could use almond milk. You could use half and half. You could use regular milk. You could use 2% milk. You could use any kind of milk you want as long as the milk is cold. <laughs> and of, of course, and it has like ice because, you know, um, you'll have basically the whip like sink to the bottom and it won't look aesthetically pleasing like this photo. Like, come on, like <laughs> you, there's no denying that this photo is like very beautiful. So, well, at least the, uh, the picture looks like, like, you know, aesthetically pleasing, meaning like it's, it's beautiful in its own way. So yeah, there's, whoa, I think this is done. So I'm going to show you guys how to prepare it and get it done and put it together. So, but first I'm going to
be right back. I'm going to go get ice. And once I get this ice in here in this glass, cute little cup, I will then do it. But first I have to back this up too, because I don't want you this to spill on my computer. Last thing I need is to pay lots and lots and lots and lots of money for a computer that, you know, I just bought. <laughs> so there you go. Great. So now I'm gonna go get ice, and I'll see you guys in like, like 10 seconds, because I have an ice machine, so. <laughs> I'll be right back. Hello, ladies and gents, I am back. So I got my ice, as you can see. And now I'm gonna take off this virtual background so that you guys could see a teeny bit better. So let's just take this off. Great, so now you see like my background background, like where I actually am, which is in my office. So I'm gonna show you guys, it looks like this. All you need to see is this top part anyway. So, First, you take your half and half, whichever milk you have, it doesn't really matter. Um, I use almond milk originally because, you know, milk is not exactly great for my stomach, but <laughs> um, today I'll use half and half. It's not super bad, but, you know, it's, it's like better than, you know, regular milk where it'll like kill me. <laughs> so let's look at this for a second. Let's try and pour this in. You see all that ice cracking? Wow. Yep, something super cool to make. Now you're going to take this whipped and then you're going to put it right on top. You see? Whoa, you're like, no way. That's so cool, right? <laughs> I think it's cool, shoot. And I just started making this, so. It's going to look like this. And then once that is done, you could definitely just take the spoon and just, you know, mix it a little bit, but don't use the spoon that I have, like use a thinner spoon or use like a, a straw, whichever one, but this is me mixing it. So you can mix in however way you wish, however way you want. But just make sure ah, you don't make a mess like what I'm doing right now. <laughs> so I made a big fat mess. <laughs> so yay, I will be right back. That's fun. <laughs> I knew that was going to happen. That's the funny part. So I'm going to go get something to wipe this. Give me one second. Doesn't it look nice though? But don't do what I'm doing, especially not near a computer. So give me one second. <laughs> Don't do what I just did, but this actually looks awesome. I, I am literally like fighting every fiber of my body for me to not lick it off this, this cup. <laughs> so you just wipe it off. Ah, but there you go. I know it's, it's kind of sort of messy and you don't have to put it in a glass cup. Like people do it in regular cups, but I don't know. I just thought a glass cup looked better, <laughs> I guess for me personally, but you don't have to use a glass cup. Like, uh, yeah, you don't have to use one. So this is what it looks like. It looks really good, but I spilled it everywhere. That's okay though, because as long as you clean up after yourself, you know, clean up after your mess, you know, don't get your parents mad because I'm sure parents don't like when you don't clean up after yourself. But yeah, that's how you make it. Um, it's very, very good. 
Um, I would have done a step by step, but the whisking takes 20 minutes. Like I'm not even joking, 20 minutes. And it's like, whoa, why so long? You know? So I don't need you guys sitting here with me for 20 minutes, <laughs> but you know, um, you, d you guys did, you know, um, learn something new. So this is whipped coffee. Very good. Delicious, aesthetically pleasing in every which way possible. Um, I'm using a sponge to, to clean it, clean the sides. But yeah, that's how it looks. Now, if you wish, you could take the spoon out. Don't do what I did and spill it all over the place. This is awesome. To some people, it might taste better, but I like it better. So, but I suggest the light one. And then if you want, you can add sugar inside of the, of the half and half, the milk before you put it on. But for me, I prefer it like this. I like it like plain and plain Jane, you know, I like it nice and plain. Don't really like all that sugary stuff. Not for me, but yeah, you could definitely top this with whatever. You could also put whipped cream on it. You could do whatever you want. There's different ways to make it. Also with the instant coffee, you don't just have to get like regular instant coffee. You could get it flavored and actually that would be a, so much better. Mine is not exactly flavored. It's just regular dark roast, but you can do it however you want it. Delicious. And I got like coffee all over my face. So thank you so much guys for watching. And thank you so much for like just watching me make a mess and having this experience with you guys. I think that's like super cool. And I'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you so much. And also, please drink your whipped coffee nice and safely. This is a nice treat for you to have. If, of course, if you are coffee drinkers and if you are old enough. <laughs> but I will see you again soon. <clears throat> thank you so much and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.